Hi, Jeff here with Corsair. Today I'm going to be building a system in the Graphite Series 760T Full Tower PC case. The 760T is a really gorgeous case. The entire side panel is made from transparent, high-gloss polycarbonate, so we're going to have some fun with this build by installing a Corsair Link lighting kit. The other side panel is also polycarbonate with a painted interior, so it has the same glossy look. So let's get to it. Here are the components that we're using for the build. The motherboard is an ASUS Rampage 4 Black Edition with an Intel 4930K CPU. We're protecting the processor with a Hydro Series H100i liquid CPU cooler, and we've upgraded the fans to Corsair's SP120s. I'm also going to use a Corsair AF140 high airflow fan for the exhaust. We're installing a pair of ASUS R9 280X GPUs for Crossfire, and we'll be powering everything with a Corsair AX1200i digital power supply. DRAM is 32 gigabytes of Dominator Platinum, running at 1866 MHz. Storage is provided by a Neutron Series GTX 240 gigabyte solid state drive. First, I'm going to take off the side panels so they don't get in the way while we're doing the build. First, we need to insert the rear I.O. shield. Next, we can align the motherboard with the I.O. shield and get it ready to screw it in. Next, I like to get the power supply installed. It's a good idea to get your front I.O. panel cables plugged in before you get too much hardware in there. And while we're at it, we'll plug in the two front intake fans into the motherboard. Now we're going to replace the stock rear exhaust fan with an AF140. I like to coil the cable with a screwdriver so that it looks nice and neat. Next, let's plug in the power cables for the motherboard. Now I'm going to install the H100 cooler. It'll be a little bit easier to install with the case laying on its side since we're going to do a push-pull configuration. I've already installed two of the fans on the H100 unit, which will make it a little bit easier to install. Now I just need to line it up with the installation holes on the top of the case and tack it into place with two of the screws. We'll do the same thing with the second fan, and once it's aligned and tacked into place, we'll finish screwing in the rest of the mounting screws. Now we need to plug in our power for the fans. Since we have four fans, we'll need to use both of the Y connector cables that came with the H100. Since this is an X79 motherboard, we don't need to use the back plate that came with the H100i. We'll just screw the standoffs directly into the motherboard. Then we secure the cooling unit with the thumb screws. Next, we'll plug in all the fans to our Y connectors and tuck the cables away. Now we need to plug in the SATA power to the cooling unit. And while we're at it, we'll get our SSD installed and plug the power into that as well. Now's a good time to plug in our SATA data cable from the SSD into the motherboard. Now it's time to get the memory installed. Now we'll install our 280Xs in Crossfire and get the power cables plugged in. Cards are installed, we just gotta plug them in. Don't forget your Crossfire bridge if you're using multiple cards. So all the components have been installed in our 760T and I've replaced the side panels here. Uh, it looks really good, but uh, I think we can make it look a lot better by adding a Corsair Link lighting node, uh, which is a standalone lighting controller. You don't need the full Corsair Link system uh, to get it all lit up inside here. So we'll get this installed and really light up the uh, interior of the case. The lighting node comes with double-sided tape, so you can install it pretty much anywhere in the case. I like to install it here so that it gives me easy access to change the colors of the lights whenever I want. Once you've installed your lighting node somewhere, you can plug in your extensions and LED strips. The LED strips have a sticky back, so you can install them just about anywhere in the case. With this system, I'm going to put lights all the way around the windowed side panel. 
All right, everything's put together. We've got the LED strips on, and you can tell that it really shows off the interior components of the system. This is a powerful system that will be able to run the latest games at the highest settings, as well as easily managing just about any CPU intensive application you can throw at it. And the polycarbonate side panel with the LED lighting really shows it off. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, here's how to reach us.